congratulations on your first appearance for Orlando. Just what was the experience like for you overall playing in front of uh, now your home fans? Yeah. Um, to be honest, when I walked out of the tunnel uh, for the, the national anthem, I think it was, I got a lot of adrenaline. I got pretty nervous because it, it was a crazy atmosphere. To me, my family was in the stands. They were here for the weekend to watch the game. Um, and then I saw the wall walking out, and it was, it was unreal. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited to play. Um, the fans were amazing the whole 90 minutes. And I uh, was really happy that we got the win. Luca, what was New York doing to you guys in the first half that was giving you so much uh, trouble? And, and how did you sort of just how did you sort of figure out uh, how to play against that uh, in the second half? Um, yeah, we know New York's a team that likes to press a lot. They like to run a lot. They don't stop. Um, they fight off second balls and they play long balls. So we knew coming to that game was going to be a little bit of a scrappy game, and that we we're going to have to grind it out and, and fight for our moments to play. Um, obviously, every time we tried to build out of the back, they would press. So we were hoping just to play off second balls and and win them in the midfield, and then hopefully we can combine and, and move forward. So um, I think we did pretty well in the, in the first half, and then in the second half we kind of got our groove, and once we got that uh, penalty and Facundo Torres put in the back of the net, um, we kind of calmed down and settled into the game a bit more. Obviously you were one of the new players that kind of came in during the preseason, and you were able to been able to catch up with most of your, your backline players for most of the preseason, but just to see that kind of all come to be in real time now for the regular season, I mean, how did that communication kind of go with Rodrigo, the rest of the guys in the back line, Pedro? Um, yeah, it was good. Rodrigo, Robin, Mikey as well. Um, uh, great group of people, great group of guys in the back line with us. Um, obviously in training, we, we've been working closely together uh, through the whole preseason and, and games. Um, obviously, we played different formations and, and a five in the back, and today was a four in the back. But um, me and Robin uh, are very good off the field and very close. Um, so on the field, it's, it, it's very good to to have him by my side and protect me, and he's, a, he's an amazing player. So um, with that experience, he's able to protect me and, and take care of me when I'm able to go forward and come back. Getting off on the right foot in the season, a win in your first game, you spent all those weeks in training camp, but to come out on opening night and get a win, bumps yourselves forward. I mean, the satisfaction has got to be a lot. Yes, for sure. That, that That's the main thing for us, was coming out here winning, no matter what it takes, no matter how we did it, just to come out and win and, and start the season off on a high note. There's going to be a lot of games coming up in the next few weeks with Champions League, and, and obviously we're at home again next weekend, so that's exciting to look forward to. Um, but the boys are just really excited to, to get that first win on the season and start on a high note. And now we go into the next week and work hard in training and prepare for the next game. How did you see that game management towards the end of the game? Eight minutes of stoppage time. I mean, yeah. the Rebels are, are pressing, looking for that equalizer. Pedro came up with two crucial yeah. saves. But in game management-wise, how did you see the team kind of uh, manage the, to hold on to that result? Um, I thought we did really well with managing that. Obviously, when you come close to the, the end of the game and then we saw it was plus eight minutes of out of time, I was a bit shocked. <laughs> kind of looked like, a, like it wasn't the World Cup with the, the, the stoppage time that they were adding. Um, so we just had to just grind it out and, and with the players that we have in the back line and, and like you said, Pedro and Net we made some big saves for us in the last 10, 15 minutes. So um, it was good. We stuck together, we were confident and we just, we just wanted to steal, steal the deal and we did that. Thank you, Luke. No problem. Thank you, guys. Thank you.